Welcome back to another video. Heroes Academia. Wait, wait, I'm dumb. Heroes Ultimatum just dropped. And today I'm here to introduce you guys to the beginner's guide. The reason why this one's crucial to you guys is because I'm gonna be making it as simple as possible. This game has three main details, important things that you guys have to know in order to have fun in it and also just to progress within it. These categories are quirk, how NPCs in combat is taught, how the map is created and how you guys travel within it. And of course, lastly, the factions. So real quick, when you guys do join this game, right away, I want you guys to not be confused. Real quick, I want you guys to click M and go straight into your stat system. The stats is because you're gonna figure out what quirk you have. If let's say you have a very good quirk or you don't know what quirk you have, you can check by always going to the quirk research lab. All you have to do is go right inside, go talk to this secretary, all you have to do is literally say yes. As that's going, make sure you also check if there's any codes. If there is a code, I'll uh, make sure I put it in the description and code, I mean in the comments below. But here we go. So you talk to Dr. Fruity right here. You want to reroll your quirk. I have one for all, which is a rare 1%, but you have uncommon common. So real quick for the quirks, the top three quirks for each type of category for common, I'm going to say ice, wood, and also uh, kind of a tie between solid air and shock. I don't like hardening simply because of playstyle. It's very, very boring. It's still all right. For uncommon, we have a top three. My opinion is cremation, decay, and also engine. Um, that's simply because it's very, very good for PvP and grinding, but also it's also fun. So yeah, now fun is of, of course subjective, but that's my opinion. And helpful, and well, I'm not gonna say the top three as the, if you get this, keep it. Do not re-roll it uh, unless you have some robux to spend or you think you're lucky, but yeah. So how the quirk system works and how the stat system works in this game, um, I'm gonna just explain that right away. So when you are leveling from one to 10 to 20, between one to 20, you wanna focus on your power because you're honestly gonna basically have three or four moves, which is very, very important to PvP. Everything else is pretty much a waste of your time, waste of your money. So these skills are actually, of course there's quirk, your first ever quirk uh, skill and maybe second depending on how much uh, level you need. But for power, you're always gonna have gut punch and power dash and agility. Literally all you need is leg sweep. You see that? There's only three moves I literally use in this. I only unlock two moves from power because that's the only thing I need and agility. Um, I believe at the start, you're gonna be able to get leg sweep and adrenaline. So yeah, make sure you guys do get that. So that's four right there, of course, plus your quirk. But most of the time, you might not even use your quirk. So focus on uh, agility of leg sweep because it's a combo extender and power is gonna be power dash and gut punch. With the stat system aside, let me show you guys the combat. So the combat is very, very good in this game. I like it because of how different it is and of course how the NPCs work. NPCs are very, very smart but they do have a timing in which you can outplay them. So what I'm gonna do to this police officer right here is infinite combo him. How I'm gonna infinite combo this police officer is I'm gonna do five or four regular M1s or left clicks and all scores and then end it with a M2 or a right click. So basically do this, one, two, three, four, boink. I'm gonna dash forward, one, two. You see how we dash right there? Most of the time they will do that. Um, so sometimes, you know, it, it's only good for the thugs because thugs barely even do it. If they do do it, they literally just dash back. But most of the time, you can continue, you know, uh, infinite comboing them. You see that right there. But yeah, that is a simple combo, correct? That's a very, very simple combo, which is very, very good for the start of the game and everything like that. But of course, when you guys do progress on enemies that do have quirks, this is how I fight them. So of course, I'm going to be using my moves and everything like that. But most of the time, I'm actually m one And... Um, let's say this hero right here, he actually likes to block a lot, so boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna wait for him to block. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to block real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys what the timing is. Okay, here's a, so he's actually gonna be blocking for about three seconds. Blocking, everyone or everything blocks for about three seconds. That's how the NPCs are kind of coded. So, if he's blocking and is running to you like how he is right now, look, he's at one, two, three, and I'm gonna put him in an M1 combo, and then he's gonna unblock. Even if he's in a combo, he's not gonna continue blocking because that's how, there's like a timer and how long he blocks. So whenever you block, if you don't wanna do the infinite combo technique, you all you have to do is time. Of course, you have your cork in which you're gonna finish them off with. So yeah, you're gonna be doing a lot of things. Most of the time you will be M1ing, so you wanna make sure that you either know the infinite M1 combo or you know the timing. You see he's blocking and then he lets go. That was about three to four seconds. Usually I just start the combo after four seconds, but yeah. 
So that's how the NPCs work. Let's get right into leveling. So luckily this map, um, they're bunched up. The, all the level quests are all bunched up together. So, you know, uh, 20s will be in a certain area, 10s will be in a certain area, and like 40 up is gonna be in a certain area. Now, when you are progressing throughout this whole map, a good way to ex uh, explain you guys where it is. So if you guys press N, this will show you where the like kind of landmarks are. On the left side over here, most of the quests are gonna be from 10. To, to 20 everything from the left side is gonna be left to 20 uh, also the villain quests are here as well the top one right here from where I'm facing this is gonna be 30 this is gonna be 30 uh, this goes from 30 to 40 on the back on where North Station is that's where 50 is then right here with the gadget lab this is from 10 to 15 uh, left and right side where the UA and the villain hideout is um, they're pretty much the same only difference is the hero and villain quest. There's a lot of villain. Uh, there's actually my bad There's a lot of hero quests or villain quests here on the back on right here And there's also a lot of there's a mix of hero and villain right here It doesn't really matter because you can actually do hero or villain when I say that is uh, when you guys start off worried man right here I can actually do hero and then I can actually do this villain quest even if my reputation is villain It does not matter because you can do both as long as you are the right level Another thing to keep in mind is that in these quests as well You want to make sure that you kind of keep in track of what you were doing I like to do is finish on the left side then go to the top then go right uh, make sure that you know where the landmarks are because they are very very helpful as I show you guys the quirk the PvP The last thing is your faction your path You have to know what faction you're going to and let me tell you guys the pros and cons of each faction Now villain the reason why I'm villain and the reason why I think villain is better or a better Faction is because not only are the quests pretty fun with the heist the quests are actually very very easy to find and very very easy to do for how the quests are separated and how I think a quest is better than the other, of course, is, is the XP gain and, of course, what you are doing for the quests. Villain quests have quests in which you just literally beat up the generator. You just auto-click. There are quests where you have to give civilians poison. These quests are very, very good. They're just, like, very, very easy for people who are lazy. But what's bad about them is that it's only good for about level... Or from level 0 to 30. Everything after, I believe from 30 and 40, I was doing hero quests because, um... That was the only good ones that they had. Now for the heroes, pros and cons, heroes, pros and cons is that heroes, you're going to be fighting a lot of NPCs, a lot of villains. And this, if you like fighting NB NPCs, then go for it, go for it. The exams are actually very, very easy, very, very good. Uh, the only thing is, once again, it's a bandit beater, so um, you just beat, it, uh, beat up the bots. There's nothing really special about it. Uh, they give actually really good XP, more than the villains, uh, or somewhat more than the villains. Not a huge difference, but they give good XP. The cons about heroes is that when you are progressing as the hero, you have to take exams. It's the same for any villain or any hero. But the reason why they're bad is because for villains, you have to do, you have to talk to a daily quest, or you have to do a daily quest only about two times. And then the third one, you have to do the exams. For heroes, you have to do the daily quest five times. And that could be five days because daily quests are every 10 hours and some people can't play for 10 hours so um i'm telling you villain side is like the lazy side but still very very good heroes is like more of a grind if you like being a hero then you can have it i i'm just saying i don't see a difference between why villain or why hero would be better but i do see a big difference when you are were to say is villain an easier grind but yeah hopefully that helped you guys today if it did help you guys you guys can support my channel by subscribing, liking the video, and also joining my Discord by jo because that helps me out because I'm able to ask you guys for questions. Uh, you guys can give me some ideas, and also I can play around with a lot of you guys. So yeah, uh, check everything in the description below, and hopefully you guys do have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Whoa. Whoa. Follow your passion Till one day 